So hi, my name is Chris. Um, I'm explaining the cycle because I did not see anything on YouTube about it, and it was annoying when I was trying to study it, so hopefully this will help out. So right now I'm going to be talking about the glenmaglutamyl cycle. It's also called the Meister cycle, and it occurs in three main locations in the body. It occurs in the small intestine, the kidneys, and the liver. Its main function is to maximize the absorbing of amino acids from the extracellular space. So this is within the glomerular filtrate, this is within the proximal lumen tubule, proximal tubule lumen, and it's also for xenobiotic detoxification, which primarily occurs in the liver. So now I'm going to walk you through kind of how this process works. So I first have glucis gly, which is commonly referred to as glutathione, but it's broken down into three amino acids, glutamine, cysteine, and glycine. And we're going to start the process off with glutathione molecule there completely. This then goes to the surface and interacts with a specific enzyme, gamma glutamyl transpeptidase. This enzyme is a transporter and a transmembrane protein. It's, it can be classified as both of, those, both of those terms. And what it does is it cleaves off the glutamate from the cysteine and glycine. So this glutamate now is stuck on this side, which is the cellular side of this enzyme. The glutamate then is transported onto the extracellular side, but still attached to this enzyme. This glutamate is then able to interact with free amino acids within this extracellular space and magnetize it so that it binds together. This will then form a gamma glutamyl amino on this side. Then it is then transported back over through a mechanism and on now is on the cellular side of the of membrane. And this is a phospholipid bilayer. So the gamma glutamyl amino now is then finished the job of bringing the free amino acid into the cell. But in order to utilize this, this is then cleaved so the free amino, free amino acid can then go off into the rest of the cell to do whatever. And now you're left with a glutamate. This glutamate then finally is regenerated into glutathione through several steps, costing a total of 3 ATP. That's pretty much the gamma glutamyl cycle. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And one last thing to be aware of is this is always on the extracellular side. So this cycle from what I've read and researched, will not be on the plasma side. So this is going to be responsible for taking out the amino acids in the urine so you're not pissing amino acids. This is going to be making sure that in the small intestine, within the lumen, that you're taking up as many amino acids as possible. Hope that helped.